What's up everybody, Lee Toshi90 coming at you with another awesome video. This is going to be my own personal computer build. This is my first PC build that I've ever done before and uh, let's just go over the parts real quick. Uh, we have an Asus Z97-A motherboard. We have an Intel Core i7-4770K processor at 3.5 gigahertz. We have some Vulkan RAM, eight gigabytes and two sticks. We have an Asus GTX 560 850 megahertz, one gigabyte GPU. We have a TX650 Corsair power supply, or a 650 watt power supply. And then over here, this big old box over here is the case that we're gonna put it in is the Fractal Design Define R4. The hard drive I'm gonna be using is just the old hard drive out of my old computer, just a one terabyte hard drive from Western Digital, I believe. But other than that, uh, let's get started. So here we have the uh, case for my desktop. It is a Fractal Define R4 computer case with the windowed side panel. Don't know why I got the windowed side panel. I'm not exactly going for any consistency here, but um, we're gonna be busting this out of the box and hopefully I can do this with just two hands. Um, I'm gonna put the camera down for a little bit. So there it is, outside of the box, which I uh, may or may not have ripped. Um, let's take the foam siding off, just, if I can do that with one hand, that would be awesome. There's the back, it's got the vent, and what looks like what should be, oh wait, this is the bottom, isn't it? That's the dust filter. Oh, this is the back, that would explain the room for the PCI Express slots and the power supply and all the other cables that it's coming with. I love how this is partially modular. Um, let's get the other part off real quick, and then there's a little opening for the, uh, audio and USB stove and the front is already coming off but that's kind of a good thing because the front is supposed to come off so that we can install all the necessary stuff like the uh, optical drive and that is also coming off I don't think that needs to be coming off though power button and such but uh, that is the case um, came with the user's manual for, for a case, I mean, I don't know, it's some hardcore shit, I don't think I'll even be able to read through it without getting confused, I mean, yeah, but that's the case. So this will be the unboxing of the motherboard, the Z97-A from Asus. Uh, it is built for Intel LGA 1150, which works with my processor, so let's just go ahead and open this up. As you can see, we are greeted with the very, very awesome anti-static cellophane, not cellophane, but it's an anti-static wrap, and uh, we can see the motherboard, it has the uh, dual intelligent processor 5 right there, we have the PCI slots, the RAM slot, CPU slot, looks like a couple of heat coolers, and of course, the little backing panel on the side with the USBs and all that jazz. In the bottom of the box, we have a couple of other very important materials, such as the actual backing that you will see on the back, that goes on the back of the, uh, the build, the, the, the tower, that's what it's called, on the back of the tower. We also have a couple of extra wires that we're going to need, some SATA cables, uh, and then this very helpful doohickey, which we'll go over actually when I'm, well actually, basically the desk, the uh, tower has a bunch of tiny little plugs that we can plug into this and make our lives a whole lot easier when trying to plug it into the motherboard, so that definitely helps out a lot. And uh, I think this is a USB 2 cable, I am not entirely certain. So this is gonna be the unboxing of the processor and the stock heat fan. I didn't think of getting an aftermarket heat fan. I figured I'm not gonna be doing too much overclocking, so the standard fan that comes with it is gonna be enough. But this is the i7-4770K and uh, 3.5 gigahertz. Let's just go ahead and do this. And even though I may not need a knife, I'm going to use a knife for it. This actually is a lot harder to cut through than I imagined. That is some strong tape. Intel, I like your stuff. All right, so let's pull the fan on out of here which has the processor right there in the top. And we get a bunch of McAfee guides and papers coming out of the box as well. I don't know exactly what I would use these for, but we're just gonna stuff those in the box and put them aside because here is where the real magic is, if I can get it out of the plastic. We have the heat sink fan from Intel with the sticker partially coming off. I don't know if that is meant to be, but standard heat sink fan, nothing special. But then we come over here, and if I can figure out how in the world I can open this, that would be great. Looks like, ah, tabs out like that. And... 
So this is the Vulcan memory. It's going to be eight gigabytes, two sticks. All we gotta do is cut the package open and see it. You can see the uh, nice orange highlighted heat spreaders coming off of those things right there. Very nice little color going on, but it is not going to come inside with our system and I didn't exactly intend for it to. But we go ahead and cut that and it leaves this little slot for us to not only pull the part away with the tape, but also rip the thing off because, you know, screw packaging. And of course, it is still connected by this little tape over here, which I just said screw earlier. And if I can get that off, that would be fan tucking. And it's open! And of course, last but not least is the graphics card because that's what everyone wants to see in everything. And my friend did a heck of a job packaging this. So, yes, thank you, Mr. Cake, for not only giving me the graphics card, but also the power supply. Well, not giving, I still have to purchase it, but it was very, very fairly priced, and I sincerely appreciate the gesture. But there is a box inside of a box, and that is boxception. Even more boxes! Holy crap! There's all the uh, startup guides and NVIDIA stuff. We should probably take that out to reveal some plasticky layers. More plasticky layers, and there's the card itself. I am very concerned to try to take this out of the box right now while I am recording and trying to keep everything straight, so let's just see that this box is completely empty and move on to the build. So here's the behemoth all put together after about two hours of work. You can see we got the nice little side panel. You can look inside, see the graphics card, the processor, the motherboard, and my skillful, very, very skillful wiring techniques and everything implemented. You can see the nice little red glow that it gives off, the fact that I have just a stock um, keyboard and mouse attached. And right now we are attempting to do some software and it's, 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 it's not as fun as the actual building of the PC. I actually had a lot of fun building this thing. But um, anyway, thank you all for watching. You guys are going to see some clips sooner or later of me actually using this thing in action. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave it a like, comment, rate, and subscribe. Okay, thanks, bye. Also, just real quick at the very end here, I have created a website for myself and I hope you all can go and check it out. The link is going to be in the description as well as on my channel banner. It's just a quick little blog where you can see an about me, what the website is, a couple of my audio samples if you're interested in me as a voice actor or as a voice talent, and of course some fan art and some other art that I may have put in the videos, etc. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and now for real, if you did enjoy the video, comment, rate, and subscribe. Okay, thanks. Bye.